we can turn those on. Renee Eaton, I'm the undergraduate director in human nutrition, foods, and exercise. We have an anatomage table. It is a virtual dissection table. So there, you've taken away all the vessels uh, and all those structures. Mm -hmm. The table was so, built yep. with cadaver images, and so what they're seeing is, is what someone really looked like. So it's three-dimensional. Students can roll it around and look at different can, structures, can, highlight different structures, and learn anatomy and physiology that way. Everything that they have so far is on a computer screen. And so this allows them to go life-size, to, to look at the cadaver itself, to look at this, the CT images. They have, there's some different case studies in here that they can work through. Students can build presentations. It's, it's more of a realistic feel for what they're going to see in their next level of training. But really, My name is Will Coffey and I'm a graduate student at Virginia Tech. Anyway. Diagnostic images I think would be really cool because you can look at real life case scans and try to identify what was going on and just see if you can figure out the puzzle of like what the person was going through. And there's veterinary images as well. So the animal poultry science program could use it, vet school. So she is post aortic valve replacement. Yeah, it gives you the diagnostic information and then the resolution side. So this is advanced training for them, and most of our students go on to professional school in physical therapy, physician assistant, nursing, dentistry, medicine. So this is um, pretty important for them to have. This is going to add a lot to the class.